Should a person who has terminal illness be allowed to end their lives with lethal pills? Well, right now, three states, Oregon, Washington, and Vermont, authorize death with dignity. Tonight, the issue will be presented to the Tucson City Council. Nine in your sides, Whitney Clark joins us live with more on this. That's right. Well, tonight here at the council chambers, the city council will be discussing a memorial that, if passed, would urge Arizona state lawmakers to consider a death with dignity act. Now, the idea was brought forth to city leaders by a group called Compassion and Choices. When I asked a volunteer, you know, why now? They said, why not? There is no current legislation being discussed on this in Arizona, but they really want to get the conversation going. Now, if you recall, there was a woman last year who moved to Oregon where the death with dignity act is legal, allowing people to end their lives using medication. 29-year-old Brittany Maynard chose to die peacefully when she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Now, if the city council supports this memorial tonight, it will in no way change any laws or rules in the city. It's more of an expression of political support saying, hey, you know, maybe state lawmakers should take a look at enacting legislation that would allow a mentally competent, terminally ill adult receive prescription for life-ending medication. Now, in September, Bisbee became the first town in Arizona, in Arizona to support a similar memorial. Now, volunteers with the group tell me that uh, if Tucson passes this this evening, they want to move on to Phoenix. And like I said, they'll be discussing this here tonight, and we'll bring you any more information as we get it. Live from downtown, Whitney Clark, KGA 9, on your side. Whitney, thank you. Rachel